a long time ago, there was a father and he found out that they were going to have a new baby. And I said, Lord, if it is your will, give me a daughter. And he did. She was so small and so tiny. I was the first to hold her in my arms. And her eyes were so bright and right on me, looking at me. And they've looked so many times at me since that time. And I said, Lord, make her like her mother. And he did. She was loving and kind and so good and so gentle. She could brighten a room just by walking in it. She could brighten a room by her smile. She made friends so very easily, and I think it was because she loved so much in return. And I said, Lord, I feel like I'm being left out. Make her like me. <laughs> so he did. <laughs> Hello, gorgeous. Love you too. <laughs> You're coming for two more hours. I know. Oh, <laughs> goodness. But I realized something was missing. So I said, Lord, make her happy. And Michael, she met you. Dear Michael, I cannot believe that this day has finally arrived. We dreamed, planned, planned, envisioned, and prayed for this day for so long. It is so surreal and almost unbelievable that today is the day. And that's the funny thing. Now that we are here, I look back and can't believe how fast time flies. It seems like only yesterday when we would try to pick you out in a sea of CovCath students during a football game, or when I anxiously waited for you to pick me up for a first Valentine's dance. You, my dear, are my biggest blessing and joy. You are so much fun to live life with, and I thank God every day for blessing me with such a wonderful man that I'm grateful to now call my husband. Hello, gorgeous. It is nearly impossible to put into words how I feel towards you, but let this letter serve as a mere attempt to verbalize this feeling of love. I know that you refuse to believe me when I say that I believe in love at first sight. However, for the eight unbelievable years that we've been together, I've had numerous love at first sight experiences. The first time that I saw you in high school, I noticed how much you can literally light up a room when you walk into it. I love you for this because I know that when I'm feeling down, you can brighten up my day with one of those world famous Emily smiles. I know that it won't be for another few hours, but the first time that I see you walk down this aisle, I will notice the image of God and the woman that I get to marry. I love you for this because it will give me the opportunity to fall in love with you over and over again. Growing up, I always had both Emily and Elizabeth by my side to make me into the person I am today. We were always the three musketeers. My mom and dad can attest that for years growing up, we all wanted a brother. After the idea of having another baby was negated, I started to talk to my parents about the idea of adoption. We really wanted a brother. <laughs> and then came this guy, Michael. Apparently the first time Michael came into our house, I told my mom, Oh, it's about time someone brought some height into this family. <laughs> Years later though, I don't think God forgot to answer that prayer. I believe that everything is made perfect in the Lord's timing, and Michael, you are the brother that we have been praying for. Michael has been my best friend for as long as I can remember. And from a young age, I could always tell Michael was one of the most caring, creative, and genuine people that I know. One thing that's special about Michael and Emily to me is that they're the first couple that I've truly witnessed falling in love. And when I was writing this toast for Michael and Emily, one word kept coming to mind, and that was constant. Their love has been constant through sickness, through happiness, and even living in different cities while in college. Their constant love is something that I wish for all of my friends and family. I simply want to thank you, Michael. Thanks for being a great example of constant love with Emily. Thank you for the countless memories we have made and we will continue to make. And most importantly, thank you for your constant source of love and friendship to me.
I want you to know that I'm giving you the best thing I have tonight. Me and God's worked hard to get her ready for you. <laughs> she's opinionated. Uh, she's the most dedicated buddy I can ever imagine. But God and I have worked hard. Cherish her the rest of your life. May this cross always be for you, Michael and Emily, a reminder of the exclusive and definitive love that must be yours in the sacrament of marriage. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Friends, I am privileged to present Mr. and Mrs. Michael and Emily Hellman.